Hey YouTube, welcome to another how-to video. Today we're going to cover the Black Ox Beetle. This guy is one of the new bugs that was added to the game with the Into the Wood update, and they dropped some pretty valuable loot. Now, the Black Ox Beetle isn't terribly difficult once you learn how to tell what attack they're about to perform. Let's review some of this gameplay footage, and I'll try to break it down for you. Okay, so here we are, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the new beetle. The first thing I want you to remember is how important blocking is. The better you become at blocking, the easier your time will be in the backyard. <clears throat> the second thing I want to tell you is that you should pay attention to the cues the bugs give you. Every bug has a cue that will give you information about what attack they're about to perform. Some of the cues will look very similar, if not exactly the same, when you first start at least. Uh, but after some practice, you'll start to see the differences. Once you learn the cues and pair that with the block timing, you'll be nearly unstoppable. Let's get into the video. So here's the first cue. When the beetle steps back, lowers his head, rears it up, that means he's going to do his quick lunge attack at you, okay? You'll see in this video that I'm using the tier 3 hammer. Now you'll need to have killed one of these black ox beetles in order to make this hammer. But that doesn't mean that this is the only weapon that you can use to kill it. This is just the weapon that I've found to be most effective. Let's rewind a little bit and check out some of the cues that he gives us. Alright, so you see how he did like the bull getting ready to charge? That's literally what that means. When he does that, he's, he's going to take a split second to lean back and then he's going to run at you. And it doesn't matter how far away you are, he's going to run all the way to you. I was close, so it, he didn't run very far. And you see again, he lowered his head, picked it up, quick attack. <clears throat> now, when you're timing your blocks, the key is to block as soon as the attack is about to land. If you're holding your block beforehand, you'll still lose some stamina. You won't take any damage, but you'll lose some stamina, which is huge. Uh, losing your stamina means that you're not going to be able to attack and if he drains your stamina completely and then hits you while you're blocking He's gonna knock you down which stuns you for probably a second and a half So in between his attacks and watching the cues you see the charge cue right there again You want to get your attacks off while not draining your stamina like I did so now that you have an idea of how to kill the black beetle the black ox beetle excuse me uh, and what cues to look for in order to block appropriately. Let me show you what a perfect block looks like. Here's an example. These are the sparks that I'm talking about when I say the sparks will fly when you land a, a perfect block. Now, with the appropriate mutations, landing a perfect block will actually increase your stamina. Okay? So look for this when landing your blocks. That's how you'll know you landed a perfect block. Here's a screenshot of the map with the location of the black ox beetle circled here. This is where I found the two that I'm aware of. This is just above the picnic table. You have the picnic table down here, off screen a little bit. Uh, and the wood pile is up here. This is the axe. This is that research station, the glove, the knocked over grill. Uh, this is where you'll find the black ox beetles, right at the entrance to the canyon, is what I like to call it. Um, with that information, hopefully you're able to take on the black ox beetle, get the important parts that you need in order to make your tier 3 hammer and progress through the game. I hope this helped. If it did, please consider dropping a like, maybe even a subscription. Check me out on Twitch Monday through Friday at noon and Saturdays at 6 p.m., all Eastern Standard Time. Until the next one, thanks for watching. See you later.